Hey, it's David Farmer, and today we're talking page speed. Page speed is probably the most important thing when it comes to the overall performance of your dealership website. So the question is, how can you determine how quickly your site is loading. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about a couple different tests that you can run and and really give you some insights on some areas that you can work with your website provider to make sure that you are doing the things necessary to make your dealership website faster and allowing your customers to be able to interact in a more engaging way. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at uh, a, a couple pieces of information. So first of all, this is from the Google Dealer Guidebook. This came out a couple years ago, but I believe it is just as relevant today as it has been in the past. So according to Google on mobile, which you know is gonna be more than half of your traffic is gonna be, going to be coming from mobile, but 53% of consumers will abandon a mobile site if it takes longer than three seconds to load. So now just think about that. If you are on a mobile website right now and you sit there for one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, you're probably in this group of 53% of consumers that if it takes that long to load a page, you're gonna bounce out. So it's very important that your page load is loading uh, faster than that three seconds. Another interesting statistic, according to the Google Dealer Guidebook, 97% of consumers will abandon a mobile website if there are too many form fields. So that's another thing to take in consideration when you're providing a engagement form or a lead form on your dealership's website to make sure that it is very simple and a term that we like to call frictionless, meaning that they don't have to enter a ton of data to get the information that they're looking for. Let's take another. Let's take a look at some more stats um, and um, where you are able to actually test your dealership website. Um, so according to Google, um, uh, top performing websites are going to load. Uh, three seconds or less. And um, this test right here is what's going to allow you to measure that. So you can go to test my site uh, with Google um, or thinkwithgoogle.com. And this is going to take you through kind of a generic uh, 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 a speed test. So I'm going to go ahead and just do our, uh, our demo website. So I'm just going to type in www.inticedemo.com. And then it's going to do its thing. And it's going to share uh, a, a bunch of different information. Um, you know, it's, it's only going to take about a minute or so to run. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. Now, there's a couple other tests that you might want to do um, that provides more information. Uh, but this is, this is a really cool way to do it. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip and get started. Uh, so the my mobile page speed is 2.2 seconds on a G4 uh, a connection. And at that point, they're saying that it needs some improvement. It's going to continue to walk me, uh, walk me through some recommendations on how I can uh, uh, increase or boost the speed, uh, in, uh, improving my load time by 0.1 seconds can boost conversion rates by as much as 8%. So it's pretty incredible what can happen once you uh, boost your, your performance. Uh, according to this, uh, people are 40% more likely to spend more time than planned when they identify the shopping experience might be highly personalized. So this is gonna walk you through a bunch of different uh, uh, yeah, information. If I click get your full report, this is gonna provide me this information. Bear with me here as I get this going. Now, another way to do a speed test is if you just do uh, if you just do Google speed test as a search in Google, it's going to bring you to this, which is going to be the page speed insights, and this kind of breaks it down in a little bit simpler way. Uh, so, if I do the same thing, enticedemo.com, 
It's going to take far less time to do this, and it's just going to kind of get me right to the meat and potatoes of this uh, speed test. Now, while that's loading up there, let me just go ahead and go into my email and see if that full report came in. Okay, so here's the full report in PDF format. 2.2 seconds is my load time. It provides me some more information, as you can see there. Let's go ahead and jump back to our page speed insights. Now, this is going to give me a rating. So we're at 74% on mobile, and uh, we are at 99% on desktop. Um, so there are some additional information you'll see here. Uh, use video formats for animated content uh, is, is a way that I can increase uh, my score. Uh, uh, properly sized images. That's a way to decrease the page load speed. But it's going to give you all of the things that you can work directly with your website provider on to make your page uh, load speed test uh, uh, faster. Now, a lot of different information that we can uh, cover. There's one last thing I want to cover during this video, uh, and that is you can do the same thing right in Google Analytics and you're able to see these scores over time. Uh, so you'll be able to map the performance of uh, any performance increases that you might be uh, uh, able to get when working with your website provider. Uh, so if you go under behavior and then go under site speed, you're gonna find there's gonna be an overview, there's uh, page timings, uh, uh, speed suggestions, uh, user timings, a lot of different uh, uh, advanced uh, reporting that's available right inside of Google Analytics. And finally, um, Google there is another test that is uh, supplied uh, from Google called the Lighthouse uh, Speed Test, uh, which is extremely comprehensive. That's something that you might want to uh, look at as well. So in this video, we covered the importance of page load uh, 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 speed, how to test it, how to get a little bit more information inside of Google Analytics. The last tip I'm going to share with you today is if you just put in your uh, main domain in those speed tests, it's going to uh, it's going to score that page. Now, of course, your home page is going to be extremely important, maybe the most important because you're going to engage the customer most often on your home page. But I would highly recommend to grab an SRP URL and test that. I would also grab a VDP URL and test that. And another thing, I would recommend that you do this monthly. Anytime your website provider makes changes or you make changes to your website in the website uh, provider portal, that's going to affect the overall page load speed. So considering how important it is based on how many people will bounce away if you're over three seconds and how many leads you could lose by every second that is added to that page load speed. So again, as always, we really appreciate your time watching our videos. If you found some value, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. That will help us out quite a bit. Again, as always, we really appreciate your time. You're going to find this video plus many others available on entice.com.